Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to LEGO Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. Let's continue down this story path, which almost guaranteed now that this is just going to be a top-down real-time strategy uh, mission again, because that's all we've seen down this path, except for level 3, which was a flying around in the spaceship thing. Uh, level so yeah I don't know I don't know uh, looking at the amount of battles that happen in the uh, Clone Wars here I imagine they probably overspent on their budget making the cartoon uh, frankly Almost certainly, yeah, because you're just gonna have a ton of that happening where lots of lots of ships, lots of uh, laser blasts going everywhere. Oh. Here we can see all of that. There, I finally got some shirtless guys. <laughs> well, it's the it's the clone troopers that that don't take off their helmets. Yeah, we get our lag. Just to remind us who's boss, I suppose the game has to lag up. Hmm. Oh, she's a Jedi. Interesting. And here we are. We have a strategy. And what are we doing? got like one over here it seems like we could probably build if but I'm not even sure like what's our goal like why do I have six of these here is this just the same layout it really is, isn't it? It's it's just the exact same layout. And none of the things I'm shooting, by the way, are are also like counting up towards any collectibles. So these just feel like rough examples of trying to have a bunch of uh troopers with them because I assume that that the idea would be you're supposed to go build a bunch of uh, your own barracks to fight against these characters the, the, the only problem with that is where do you get the studs because we flew around and there were n no like studs anywhere they're not raining from the sky. They're not, they don't exist. And again, this feels like a tutorial mission after we've already done three of these missions before. And see, I think the game is gonna try to give us even more later. And it's not gonna be fun. Like, if it tries to hand us another 6 to 18 missions like these, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be... Well, I'm definitely not gonna be happy about it. Here, you can look on the inside of this, and boy, is there nothing in there. Uh, uh, but that, for instance, was only four minutes. And now we are... Now we're given this, like, new guy to take with us. And it starts over again. It's like, so... So basically that's to say that I failed to secure the area. Hmm. 
Now I just want to kill this guy as, much, as quickly as possible. If possible, because I don't want this vehicle to blow up. I, that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Alright, moving on. But we can still just sit here and beat on the walls of the Lego thing. And the stupidity here is this is obviously not what they intended me for to do. But what they intend for me to do would actually take longer than just hitting the walls. So I'm just being efficient with my time. And I assume, as I just sit here and hold down the X button, uh, that if I was to try to build anything in these areas, the game would destroy it and set it back to the default like things that it is planning to have in those areas. Let's see. I'm surprised that that works there. Like I could build something right here. So the, there's ones they've even missed all over the place. And there's nothing special about this area. There's, there's just the bridge section and that's it. Uh, so I guess it's not fair to say there's nothing special about this area. There is that one check choke point of the bridge, but otherwise it's just another flat area. The very least they could do is take all these sections that are in between and have uh, some things that are in the way, hills, trees, grass. And I, I imagine they probably found out that they couldn't, their engine couldn't handle rendering these things. Let's so look at the ground with the enhanced graphics off. It, it's just this very simplistic, very ugly dirt pattern. I mean, it could be worse. It could be just solid brown, I suppose, but not by much. Come in here. And now the game's going to lock up. Well, that didn't work. So this won't damage the silver one, so instead I just needed this guy. And it's possible that this thing... It's possible that... I don't even know what I was going to say. I'm so distracted by just how bad this is. Like, we've got all those troopers there. Are they going to do anything to that building? No. Do they have any reason to be marching around? No. Where are they going right now? I have no clue. You know, what I'd prefer above this, and it would be in line with the story quite well, too, if they instead did the circular chessboards game or just had us do who yeah well the circular chessboard would it at least be something that is established as an, something that actually exists and is somewhat familiar barely familiar I would say to the uh, to the Star Wars universe And then that would kind of be cool as an idea, but frankly, again, that's still not Lego. 
and any suggestion I make other than just make Lego level levels is is the wrong suggestion. That's just the truth of it. Is instead of making these levels, they should have made Lego levels. If they weren't gonna make level le Lego levels, they shouldn't have made the Lego game. It it just comes down to that. There's there's no way to dance around it. No way to say this could have worked if you'd done this or this might have worked if you'd done that. There, there's nothing. Like nothing at all. Uh, can he destroy gold things? I don't think he can. So I can't hit I can't hit the gold things. Which means I'm gonna have to actually play play along and see. Clearly this is just another tutorial level. Clearly this is all that is. It's like you've gotta learn things that we already you already know. And we'll hop back into this and just run against an edge and start firing. I mean, this is just completely boring. And if they didn't make the life bar so fat, so so large, and require it to take so much time to destroy these things, I would have beaten the levels even faster. So, yeah, nothing fixes this. This is very reminiscent of what they did in Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend is this double fine game. Hey, and it crashed. That's a new one. Let's see if we can hop back into the game quickly. So now we've got a Lego game that's crashing again. On top of everything else. Anyways, I was talking about Brutal Legend. Let's go ahead and skip this. This will get me content I need. Just having a long time ago, far, far away. Uh, Brutal Legend was this double fine action game uh, based in a world that is very much focused around heavy metal and it would have been an amazing action game uh, but instead they put in an incredibly uh, long well long stage battles that were just these real-time strategy battles very, very similar to this, actually. In fact, almost complete ripoffs of this. And nobody liked it at all. Which is a shame, because Riddle Legend is a, has a decent story and a decent game. And I'm trying to hit start to skip any of this. That character just talked. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Then they, they make sounds. Interesting. And so we've got to do all this again. And I might as well make you watch it if I have to watch it. Let's see, can we... I mean, there's no quick way through this. But... So... That's kind of amazing that somebody would rip off something that, that was almost universally disliked. I know the people at Double Vine that made, made the game thought it was a cool idea. And they made it a huge issue and made it multiplayer for a game that really shouldn't have had multiplayer at all. Right. Yeah, it's easier just to hit, just to get up to an edge and punch things. 
and then it is to try to do the jumping attack. The jumping attack doesn't do that much more damage. Uh, I do plan on covering that, that game Brutal of Legend at some point in the future. It's no real reason to play it anytime soon. It'll just be one of the remaining Double Fine games that I have to collect and play. Which I, I really... I've done some of the Double Fine games, but not a significant number of them. Well, if we run into a crash here, I guarantee we'll all end the, the recording here. That's my promise to you. But otherwise, I'm going to make you suffer as a viewer since I'm suffering through all of this. Like, even if this hadn't crashed, this would have been an amazingly annoying thing. So, like... On the way here, I, I should have been able to destroy the barracks. They should have made the buildings super easy to break. Like, just glass cannons. Uh, of course, then there would be no gameplay in this at all. Alright, so now we just need to take out half of this health. See, there's no button. I was hoping maybe I'd get really lucky and there, there was some way to just end the level. Well, that didn't work. Let's see, can we? Like, we could build cannons. Like, we could build this cannon and try it. And hope it works. But, like, here's a great example of the game wants me to do this, and it's not even possible. Because there's so many barracks spewing out so many enemies that a squadron of droids just manages to always destroy anything you build. This really is a game that should have never even been released. I mean, I know companies don't want to just lose their investment completely, but what you could have done it's taken the parts that aren't like this, uh, put them as the lost levels of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, and tried to resell that game again as a remaster. I think that would have behooved their sales probably as much as this did, and I know that their, their idea is more to focus on the popularity of the Clone Wars cartoon than that was out, but uh, that's that's about what I would have done if I was Project Manager. I would have said, look, we gotta leave everything as far as the strategy levels out. That these these just don't play well, and I often have to wonder, I suppose, whether. It's, it's just that some project managers on video games don't play video games or don't test their own product or don't aren't objective enough to even to even see when their product is bad uh, so I need my tank to show up will this this guy help get back over here There we go, but 
Yeah, a remaster on on the Lego Star Wars Complete Saga would have worked pretty well. With some lost levels and just resell the same product, it would have worked better than giving me this. I mean, you just can't pull this off. I guess in the old days you could pull this off, though. You could sell a, sell a bad game and people wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't have any like complaints or any way to really complain because kids uh, I suppose that's inherently part of the problem is that if if a child complains to their parents that the games aren't fun does the parent send the game back for a refund or does or or do they say uh, you just learn to li live with it uh, like, uh, and it might very well be the case that that they just say learn to live with it because they think the kid is exaggerating so there there probably is actually a very very limited way in which a child can actually express themselves uh, to their parents and say this game is actually bad take it to the to the store and uh, and get a refund and what usually happens I would assume is the child just gets bored and doesn't ever play the game and then the parents maybe if they're paying enough attention will say well I haven't seen you play this game in a long time let's go trade it in at GameStop months later after all the initial sales have happened and uh, as far as the video game companies are concerned, they, they've they made their profits. Uh, they, as long as the game initially runs and can keep that first few hours of attention, uh, it doesn't get taken back for that instant refund. Uh, Plus, kids are usually supposed to be in school, so they may only get a couple hours of playtime in the weekends. Plus, on top of that, there's very little things. Well, that's that. <laughs> Whatever the game had in store for me for the rest of that level, I couldn't care less. I'm going to play it off screen. Uh, there's no reason to really show you show you that. Uh, crashing now, all of a sudden. Completely unacceptable. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. Hopefully I'll be able to beat this level uh, off screen. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.